This video today will cover features and specifications of the Tempest Air Mover and help you get a, a better understanding why it's one of the industry's most sought out centrifugal air movers. So we're going to look at the motor of the Tempest Air Mover. You'll see on the side of the unit, here's the motor. The Tempest actually is a very efficient motor. The power consumption on the air mover is 3 amps. The nice thing about having low amperage is that 3 amps allows me to plug up to 4 units into a 15 amp outlet. When working in a commercial application that may have a 20 amp outlet, it allows me to plug up to 6 Tempest into a 20 amp outlet. The Tempest is actually a 2 speed air mover. By uh, rotating the uh, switch forward, you'll be in the high position or maximum airflow. The middle is actually the off position on the Tempest and uh, rotating the rocker switch back takes me to the low position. I like the flexibility of having a high and a low speed setting. If I'm dealing with a power issue, maybe I need to throttle back a little bit of amperage, I have the ability to go down to low. Another nice benefit of having multiple speeds is when drawing structures, if clients get concerned about decibel levels, about the noise, it's nice to have a secondary option such as a low speed setting uh, where the client may turn it down to low versus a single speed air mover where the only other option may be off which would stop our drying process. So one of the other things I really like about the Tempest is the weight of the unit. It's 28 pounds and the nice thing about that is it's uh, very easy to actually take it from the shop to the vehicle to the actual water loss itself. Again, it's balanced very well. Again, when I pick it up, that 28 pounds is very light in my hand, and it's actually balanced well. It doesn't seem to rock to one side or another. So when I'm carrying this in and it's at the side of my leg, that balance of it sitting upright is a real added benefit. So we're gonna look at the Tempest cord wrap and the cord itself. As you can see, the cord actually wraps around the air mover. Uh, the cord is 25 feet in length, so again, it gives me the length to get to the opposite side of the room if I need to plug it in, you know, depending on where the outlet may be. As we flip the air mover to the back side, you'll see how it's uh, wrapped around, and you'll also see this little button strap right here with a bungee cord. Once that uh, cord has been wrapped around the air mover, I can take this little bungee cord and go ahead and secure it to the base of the air mover. The nice benefit of this is it keeps the cord intact. It's not gonna slide off uh, past the feet and end up becoming a trip hazard. So ingenious little thing to uh, keep a nice tight cord wrap on your Tempest air mover. The Tempest delivers balanced airflow as it exits the snout of the air mover. This means you get great even distribution, non-turbulent air out of the snout from the left edge to the right edge to the center of the unit as well. Uh, the Tempest offers one of the largest drying patterns of any air mover in the marketplace as well. Clients love the fact that the Tempest air mover is stackable as well. Benefits of stackable is that it takes up less space in the vehicle, takes up less space when you actually take it back to your facility after completion of a job. I want to take a second and kind of show you how the stackability feature works on the Tempest. You'll see the handle up here. Uh, as I rotate the uh, air mover back, you'll see on the bottom of the unit, there's this cutout right here. This cutout actually allows the handle to, to nestle in or seat into the bottom of this air mover. It's a nice solid stacking feature. Uh, you can actually stack up to three high. Again, tremendous space saver for both the vehicle back at the office as well. Next thing I'd like to uh, discuss with you are some of the operating positions that are offered on the Tempest air mover. Operating position number one is what you're seeing here. Basically, it's uh, at floor level, turn the fan on, the air comes out and it's blowing directly across the floor wet materials. The second operating position is what we call a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna rotate the air mover sideways, and then again, as I uh, tilt it back, I'm on a 45 degree angle. So you can see now I'm kind of directing air upwards. This is a great position for being able to deliver air up a staircase that may be wet. It may be good as well if I need to get air higher up on the sheetrock. Again, a multitude of different things that can be done in where you're directing air on the 45 degree angle as shown here. The last operating position of the three 
is the 90 degree angle. And again, that's just one more rotation backwards. Now you'll see that the snout is actually pointing straight up. A couple benefits that you may see in the 90. I love the fact that I can set this in a doorway. If I had water that came from above, I can direct it in the doorway up at a header. One of the more difficult things to dry. 90 also works well for, again, you know, blowing up at a ceiling. I also like that uh, this would be a great design if I'm dealing with wet crawl spaces. I can bring it in the crawl space and be able to direct that airflow right up at the uh, subfloor or the floor joists that may be uh, wet. So again, three operating positions on the Tempest that make it uh, very universal uh, for the job at hand. Dry Air Technology takes great pride in the selection of components that go into the Tempest Air Mover. The motors, the switches are UL approved. At John Don, we got it all. Did you know that 98% of the orders that are placed by 5 p.m. Central Standard Time are actually shipped out the same day? That means you really get your products fast. But even more important than that is our 30-day, 100% guaranteed money-back offer that says, you're not happy, send it back to us within 30 days. We refund your money 100%, no questions asked, no hassles, no red tape. That's the way we do business at John Don, and I appreciate you watching this video.